Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing for loops in 8080 assembly. Yesterday I did 16-bit inequalities and I did do a video on for while and do while loops in 8080 assembly but today I will show you how to implement both together so you can have a usable for loop instead of just doing a for loop for you know a byte you can do it for a short and this method will actually work uh, with just some very small tweaking. You can do this for full four byte ints and all that stuff. So let's do it. So we're going to turn this uh, statement for int 16, right? You know what, let's just do this. Short i equals zero, i less than max, i plus plus. And then let's just do a simple um, Okay, let's turn this into 88 assembly. Let's do max, let's just do like 10 for right now. You know how it goes. Here I'm going to do LXI D zero. Okay, LXI B max. So then Move D to A, compare B, okay, JC, continue. So basically, if the, um, if less than, if DE is less than BE, or sorry, DE is less than BC, then continue, right? Then go through with the loop. And then at the end of continue, we're going to have a jump loop and where is the loop actually we'll see the continue is going to have a um the continue is going to have a push d and a pop d and we're going to lxid message call put s because you want to save D, which is the counter, because you started at zero, DE, save DE. Then you push it to the stack. Um, you need DE for put S, so you pop it back out, and then you increment DE. And then you jump back to the loop. And the loop is going to be here. Why is loop going to be there? Because put S is kind of annoying because when you call this subroutine when you call the subroutine um, 9 it will completely destroy DE so we will, uh, sorry, BC, it'll destroy BC. So what you want to do is you want to reload BC with the max each time. Anyway, let us continue on. So we tested the high byte, now we're gonna test the low byte, right? Move E to A, compare C, J, C, continue, jump, loop. Otherwise, jump back to the loop. And let us put message db. Hello. Cool. Do your new line. Let me just run through here. Oh, right. Of course, you want to do. Now, actually, this one, you don't want to jump back to the loop. I'm sorry. Basically, what happens is you check 
to see if DE is less than BC. And if not, that means it is now greater than or equal to. So what must you do? You must jump to the end of the loop. Right there. So this right here is our entire for loop. Let's see if this runs. I'm losing it. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, um, the 8080 assembler doesn't like explanation points in comments. I could probably ch I could probably fix something in the uh, in the source code if I really really wanted to. Now let's try running it. Uh, look at that. Let's actually change this a little bit just so it's a little easier to read. Okay, now let's look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. And now if we did something like your A, B, C, D, H, uh, There we go. It is printing for thousands and thousands of lines. But as you can see, and I'll let it run to the completion because you'll see, or I'll try to let it run to completion, because as you can see, like this is a 16-bit uh, for loop running on Intel, the, on the Intel 8800. And this code is very small and it's very portable. And... Um, you know, maybe you'll have to make your own stack uh, in case you need to push things, you know, because this does use the stack a bit. And if you're doing more intensive stuff inside the for loop, you may need to expand the stack because remember the stack only has like seven address spaces. So as you can see, it has finished. And uh, no, I am not going to count, but I'm sure that is, I'm quite positive this is that a, B, C, D, H number of lines that is correct. Anyway, I will see you in the next one.